All right, so this is going to be the June monthly reading for Aquarius part one. So we're going to be using the Dreams of Gaia Tarot for the um, almost like an oracle. It's going to be like the overall energy. I went ahead and pulled all the major arcanas, the kings, the queens, the pages, the knights, which they don't really show up as pages and knights, but still. That's what we're going to be using as an oracle deck. And then because it's Gemini season, I'm going to be using Tarot of Oppositions, which has like a double image on each card, which I think is pretty cool. Very Gemini-like. And then we're going to be using the Vice Versa Tarot, which has a front and back to each card. Also very Gemini-like, to clarify. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with what is the general message or energy for Aquarius? Let's see. Aquarius. Oh, the scribe. Okay. Let's put this up here. Let's read the energy of the scribe. This is number 12, which kind of would be like the Knight of Air, the Knight of Swords. But this one is different. So, yeah, they definitely don't call it a knight. It's the scribe. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. So the scribe, the keywords for this one are record keeper, information, knowledge, tradition, history, personal history, preservation, censorship. Key phrases, look for an unbiased source, be objective and seek multiple perspectives, visit the library or archives, value the written word by writing things down, document your life journey, make multiple copies of your digital files, a need to censor yourself, guard your personal information. Meaning, the scribe is the record keeper, the keeper of all knowledge and information about past, present, and future. He is a priestly man, although not necessarily a religious one. His religion is knowledge and wisdom, tradition, mythos, and law, philosophy, religion and science, mathematics and the art, history, current events, and events that are coming. He has a reverence for books and makes little room for anything else in his life. They are his constant companions, and when he is not reading and memorizing their contents, he is searching for new sources of information and collating and documenting that information so it can be recounted with ease. He is on a perpetual quest for knowledge, not just for his own benefit, but for all of mankind. He believes that record keeping is the cornerstone of civilization and without accurate records, the past has served no purpose. Unlike the sage, the scribe is a man without intellectual bias or prejudice. He is objective and passionate about preserving, having, and providing the most accurate information and values being able to provide the most accurate information. He always offers knowledge from several perspectives and differing points of view. He is a man of letters, and those who know him see him as multifaceted. He is a philosopher, historian, counselor, teacher, instructor, and more. He is respected. His knowledge is treasured. His knowledge is also feared by those who seek to control the information and knowledge that he has amassed. He holds the keys to the library. He knows the secrets of kings and church, the machinations of the politics that have brought leaders to power and removed them. With the knowledge he has, he himself can make or destroy nations. It is a power that inspires fear, but also a power he would never use because the machinations of man are of little importance to him. Knowledge is his God and the only God he worships. When the scribe appears in a reading, he symbolizes the importance of documenting your life journey. Whether it be through photos, a journal, a blog, or a video, record your story so it can be enjoyed and remembered, and do it in a man manner that can be safely preserved. Write your thoughts down on paper. Keep scrapbooks full of photos and thoughts about your favorite experiences. The scribe asks that you value the act of writing things down. You might wonder at the necessity, but while the technology at hand enables us to store a wealth of information, it can also be unreliable, and you risk losing everything if a hard drive fails or the cloud should cease to be. If you don't wish to write things down, take the appearance of the scribe in your reading as a timely reminder to make multiple copies of all that have that of all that have stored on your phone, I think it skipped a word, of all that you have stored on your phone, computer, or laptop, you sometimes won't realize the extent of your loss until after it occurs. Don't risk losing those precious memories. Keep them safe. The scribe also signifies that there might be a need to seek someone out who can help you with some research you may need to do. You may need to visit a library or even seek out someone whose specific role is to collate or archive records. Whether you're trying to discover your family history or wishing to follow a path that is steeped in tradition, 
Now is the time to start asking questions and discovering the answers. Oof, that's a lot. That's a lot to read. <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> My mouth's right up. Okay, so. <clears throat> we've got... We've got a lot going on for Aquarius. Ultimately, there seems to be the need for either preservation of certain knowledge or the search for certain knowledge. Let's see. We're going to be using the, um, I forgot what it's called. The Tarot of Oppositions. Let's start. Let's use it. For Aquarius, the month of June. Let's see. For Aquarius. The month of June. We start off, ooh, Empress. Okay, we start off with the Empress. Aquarius, the month of June. Aquarius, the month of June. Four of Wands. Aquarius, the month of June. The Fool. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, June for Aquarius, the Four of Cups, June for Aquarius, the Seven of Cups, The Six of Cups. That was a lot of cups. The Eight of Cups. Damn. Okay. And finally, King of Pentacles. I was like, that whole row is going to be cups. Justice. Oh, okay. You might be going through some... You might be going through some legal procedures, which is my, why it might be telling you, excuse me, that you need to seek expert help. You might need to, this could be an attorney you hire. This could be a court recorder, a reporter, I mean, not recorder. Um, there's, there's definitely something that I think you need to document if it is legal action that you're dealing with. We could have a divorce happening. King of Cups. Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. King of Wands. Mm. Seven of Swords. What the hell? King of Swords. Okay. This is weird. Because usually the King of Swords is an attorney. But he's the one showing up with the Seven of Swords. This may be somebody you really trust. And so you're trusting their opinion. But with the scribe, it's saying, I think you might want to make sure. I think you might want to almost look for a second opinion. Um, if you're dealing with an attorney... And your gut starts telling you something's off. I would go look for somebody, a third person to, somebody that's not connected to you, they're not connected to them, to just look over things. Just, just, that's going to be a side note. So, going over this situation here we have here, that could very well be a divorce, like I said, because we do have the Justice card, Ten of Swords. Um, we have the Empress as the first energy. For some of you, this is going to be the person that you may be divorcing. For others of you, you may be seeking divorce because there was an Empress involved with third party. And maybe for some of you, you need proof. You need documentation that there was a third party. Um, 
I feel like that's the strongest thing here. If I'm talking to a feminine, honestly, it doesn't really matter, masculine or feminine, there is a third party here. That's the strongest one indication of you need documentation for it, about it, when you are going to court. Because I feel like with the relationship being highlighted with the Four of Wands, it could be that there's a, there could be a battle for the home. Um, I feel like your stability is at play, not just, not just stability when it comes to relationship, but stability when it comes to your living situation. The fool here, the way he's depicted, you see how he's like carrying his little satchel? The fool usually represents somebody whose all their belongings fit in this little bag. So I feel like there's going to be a battle between you and someone else. One of you is going to end up with a home and the other one's going to end up with nothing possibly. And if your person is the one that had a third party Capricorn, I mean, it could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, um, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be you. I see you going on a war path because you're like, oh, they want a new beginning. Absolutely. They can have their new beginning. But you know what? They're not going to get a damn penny out of me. They're not going to get the house. With the four of cups, this person may even come to you and say, hey, let's start over. And you're like, nope, you're rejecting it. You're rejecting the offer because you see them as like, they're just trying to protect their assets. They're just trying to protect their their stability. You know that what they're thinking of is their... Or this is the way you see it. You see it like what they're dreaming of is their house, not me. But they really let you down. Six of Cups is like this... You really thought... You might have children with this person. You really thought that they were your soulmate. And you feel like you have to walk away it's done the four and the ace of cups is the five of cups you're really disappointed you really thought this is your wish come true you really thought this is your your happily ever after and it did not go that way at all but whatever is happening you're getting instructions to literally just document it it'll it'll serve you later so I'm going to stop part one here. And if this um, helped you in any way, then make sure to like, comment, share. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the little bell so that you get all the notifications. And if you want to watch part two, then you're going to have to subscribe to the Facebook page because that one is where the part twos are at. Okay. And the link will be in the description box below. I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.